Hello children, welcome to EVS class. I hope you are fine. Did you finish the activities in the last class? I think all of you did the activities in the last class. Today we are moving to the next part as birthday sweet. Birthday sweet. One page number 136. Page number 136. Birthday sweet. Manu was excited that his birthday was going to be celebrated in Munar. It was Manu's birthday. Manu was very surprised that his birthday was going to celebrate in Munar. Munar in Idiki district. Manu is going to celebrate his birthday on Munar. His father bought him his favorite dress as birthday gift. His father gave his favorite dress as a birthday gift. Manu immediately thought of Babu. Suddenly, he thought about the Babu. Babu was his classmate, friend. Classmate means friend, his classmate, his dear friend who could not buy even study materials. So, Babu is a poor child. He could not buy even study materials. He could not buy the study materials. Suddenly, the Manu thought about the Babu. He talked to his father father I need one more pair of dress he revealed the matter to his father he revealed the Babu's matter to his father his father was very happy about it he bought another pair of dress for him he bought another dress and it is for Babu. I must reach Babu's house at the earliest. And the Manu came to the Babu's house. I must give this gift to my dear friend. And gave the gift to Babu. Manu gave the gift to Babu. Aren't there many friends around us who face difficulties like Babu? What can you do to help them? What can you do to help them? What are the activities you can do to help them? First, give study materials. Give study materials. Study materials means such as books, uh, textbook, uh, pen, pencil, instrument box, sharpener, etc. These are the study materials. Bag, umbrella, to us the study materials. And the second one, give clothes. If you have many clothes, clothes means dresses. If you have many clothes, you must give clothes to poor people. You must help them. You must help them. If you have many clothes, you must give the clothes to the poor people. And the third one, we must help them. We must help them we must help the poor people it was our duty next we are discussing the iravikulam national park the iravikulam national park the iravikulam national park 
look down the textbook page number 137 the iravikulam national park the iravikulam national park is situated in the idiki district it was in idiki district the nilagiri tar a species under the threat of extinction in iravikula national park we can see the nilagiri tar we can see nilagiri tar in iravikula national park the nilagiri tar is facing the threat of extinction vamshanasha vishani is being protected here several rivers originate from this national park many rivers that originate from this national park visitors are allowed only at rajamala the tourist area inside the park visitors are allowed only at rajamala it is a tourist area in it is in inside the park a wide variety of animal dwell safe here many animals we can see in the iravikula national park such as nilagiri tar honey bees snake a snail etc we can see many animals in the iravikulam national park so that is the iravikula national park is in idiki district okay next when is your birthday which was the date to your birthday when is the anniversary of your school when is the anniversary of your school dear friends don't you wish to know when the birthday of our state is which was our state which was our state okay Kerala Kerala is our state next we are studying my Kerala my Kerala when was the Kerala formed when was the Kerala formed Kerala was formed on November 1 1956 1956 November 1 Kerala was formed on November 1 1956 so when was the Kerala was formed Kerala was formed on 1st November 1956 ours is one of those states in India which were formed on the basis of language there are many languages we can see in Indian country such as Malayalam, Urdu, Hindi, Kannada etc. We can see many languages in the Indian country. The Kerala was formed on the basis of Malayalam language. Kerala is a state of Malayalam speaking people. Kerala is a state of Malayalam speaking people. We observe the state formation day of Kerala on November 1 every year. Kerala Piravi. We observe the state formation day. State formation day means Kerala Piravi. On November 1st every year. Every year we, we celebrate November 1st as State Formation Day of Kerala. Next. How do you celebrate the State Formation Day of Kerala in your school? How do you celebrate the State Formation Day of Kerala in your school? Through the seminars, rally, quiz competitions, 
poster making school assembly and patriotic competition okay that was the today's class you have two activities you must write this activities on your notebook write this activities on your notebook first activity how do you celebrate the state formation day of kerala in your school that was the first activity how do you celebrate the state formation of kerala in your school how do you celebrate the kerala's day in your school next activity draw a picture of kerala and color it draw a picture of kerala and color it you must write the districts also in the picture of kerala draw a picture of kerala and color it okay that was the today's class okay did you understand this class okay have a nice day children take care okay thank you